I'm back. Are you someone who suffers from regular sized hands? Do you find it difficult to eat an entire can of Pringles in one sitting? Do you suffer from crippling depression? Well, I can't help you with that last one. But if the other two apply, then it's time we fight back. For too long have we tolerated the terrible design of the Pringles can. For too long have we subjected our hands to squeeze into a container that's only just large enough for us to barely reach the chips inside. Like peasants desperate for crumbs, we must bring an end to the oppression. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I present to you a meme I found on the internet. Adding a deodorant dispenser to a Pringles can was just the right amount of ridiculous to break me out of my two-year hiatus. Uh, sorry to both of you who actually missed me. But it also got me thinking, who invented the Pringles can? Surprisingly, the Pringles can actually has lore. Turns out the Pringles can was designed by this guy, Frederick John Bauer. He was an organic chemist who received his PhD from Ohio State University. He also worked on lots of other cool stuff, like the development of frying oils and freeze-dried ice cream. But he's pretty much only remembered as the guy who patented a cylinder. Oh yeah, and when he died, his ashes were placed in an original Pringles can at his request. If that's not metal, I don't know what is. Alright, back to our main quest. I'm just gonna start by trying to put this on a Pringles can. I knew this piece of wood would come in handy one day. I started by cutting this wood I found months ago into a piece small enough to fit into a Pringles can. Then I had to get access to the threaded rod inside the deodorant stick. I thought this part would be easy, but... That's better. Then I thought it would be a good idea to attach this thing to my wooden block so that I could make it go up and down. But I quickly realized these parts were a little bit too big. So back to the vise they go. I also used a piece of the broken plastic to increase the area of my platform, then zip tied the whole thing together and... We're done! So, it works. This first prototype is cool and all, but it's a little janky. Luckily, my brother gave me a 3D printer a while ago, which means that we can design custom Pringles can parts with CAD software. And then the 3D printer can print out those designs. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I've printed out a few pieces that I've designed here. Uh, don't mind my hobo fingernails. But I've ran into a few issues with these pieces. I'm still new to 3D printing and measuring stuff, so it's not really a surprise that these don't really work the way I thought they would. Like, for example, this piece here is supposed to hold this uh, threaded rod in place, and it's only supposed to have a little tiny bit of play. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a lot of play. So I've got to reduce this diameter a little bit. It's also supposed to be held in the Pringles can by tension, but it's just kind of too small to do that. So I'm gonna to have to increase the diameter of this thing too. The good news is this threaded rod and this platform fit like a glove. I'm not sure how big I'll be able to get this threaded rod though because my 3D printer is kind of small. But overall, I'm happy with how these two pieces turned out. So I'm gonna change these parts a bit and hopefully the design will make sense later. Eight hours later. Okay, so here are the finished components. Made the diameter of this circle a little bit wider. This hole a little bit smaller. It fits perfectly now on the threaded rod. Then you just screw this part in. And then I've got another fastener piece right here that's solid on one side. So it can just rest on top like this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. it just, now we just gotta... Let's put it in a Pringles can. Stay. Come on. Oh. No. This is, this is pretty much the same thing as surgery. Now I actually have to go get some Pringles. Apparently also some gas, because your boy is running on empty. How do people do this? I just spent my whole life savings on a can of Pringles and gasoline. Thanks, Obama. Finally, it is finished. I think it looks pretty slick. I've seen some other people try to do some similar things with a Pringles can, but they always add something to the bottom or the top. It just doesn't look as clean as I would have liked it to. From the outside, it just looks like it has this deodorant dispenser thing sticking out, and only that. So I'm quite happy with the design. And it seems to work okay too. You spin it this way, chips start coming out the top. You spin it this way, 
they go back down. So yeah, that concludes that project. If you liked this project, there's a button for that. And if you want to see more projects, there's a button for that too. Peace.